Hugley's Pizza by Ted Arnold. I'm hungry for pizza, said Hugley. His friends, Booter and Grubble, were sitting with him in their secret slime pit. They looked curiously at Hugley. What's pizza? asked Grubble. It's a flat kind of food I once ate in the people world, said Hugley. It must be something monsters don't have, said Booter. Hugley hopped up. Then let's go find some, he said. I'll take my snack sack. Sounds good to me, Grubble agreed. He was always ready to eat. We're going on a pizza hunt, said Booter. The three monsters hurried to the hatchway under Hugley's favorite bed. They peeked out carefully, not wanting to be seen by any people. No one in sight, Hugley whispered. They must be downstairs. Is that where the pizza is? asked Grubble. The way I remember it, said Hugley, the pizza came from outside. There was a knock on the door and a people person was there with pizza. He led his friends quietly down the stairs. They slipped out the front door without disturbing the people family. Okay, said Hugley. Now everyone start looking. The three friends searched everywhere. No pizza here, said Hugley. No pizza here, said Rebel. No pizza. Wait a minute, said Booter. I don't even know what pizza looks like. Hey, that's right, said Rebel. Neither do I. Don't worry, said Hugley. I'll know it when I see it. They crept down street after street, looking high and low. Suddenly, Hugley cried out, Time for pizza! Before them was a brightly lit building. A sign on the roof glowed with something round and flat. On tiptoes, the three friends peered through the window. Pizza, drooled Hugley. How do we get some? asked Grubble. We can't just walk in the front door. Let's look around back, Booter suggested. Behind the building, they found a people machine with a large pizza on top. That's the biggest pizza I ever saw, said Hugley. The three of them scrambled onto the machine. Time, Time for pizza. pizza! They all cheered and started to chew. Clank! Ouch, said Booter. This pizza's kind of tough. I don't think I like it, muttered Grubble. Hey, this isn't real pizza, said Hugley. At that moment, a door at the back of the building flew open and a people person hurried out with a stack of large flat boxes. Everybody hide, Booter whispered. The people person jumped into the machine, dropped the boxes onto the seat beside him, and drove away fast, very fast. His wheels screeched around corner after corner. All at once, he skidded to a stop. He grabbed the top box and jumped out. Is he gone? Hugley asked. I think so, said Booter. Hey, what smells so good? Hugley lifted the lid on the top box and licked his lips. Time, Time for pizza. pizza, they cheered. Booter and Grubble both reached for a piece. Oh, I just remembered, Hugley said. Monsters aren't supposed to take people stuff. I suppose that means we shouldn't eat people stuff either. What? said Grubble. After all this, we can't even taste it. They stared at the pizza and their mouths watered. Suddenly, to their surprise, the door opened beside the stack of pizzas. A strange people person reached in, grabbed the boxes, and ran off with them. Stop! yelled Hugley. That pizza isn't yours! Without thinking, he leaped out of the machine and chased after the stranger. Hugley, come back! cried Booter. She and Grubble followed him. The people person heard the shouting and looked back. Three monsters were chasing him! Aye! He screamed. He threw the pieces at them and ran faster. The boxes rained down on the monsters and they tumbled to the ground. Someone came running behind them. Quick, into the bushes, said Booter. Faith, Faith, called the pizza person, running up the street and shaking his fist at the stranger. But he stopped at the pile of boxes. Oh no, he groaned. I guess I'll just have to go back to the shop for some fresh pizzas. He threw the whole mess into a trash bin before he left in his machine. Hugley, Booter, and Grubble crawled out from their hiding place. They looked at the trash bin. I guess if people throw stuff away, we can have it, said Hugley. They looked at each other, then cheered, Time, Time for, for pizza. pizza! They ate and ate and ate. Booter and Grubble discovered they loved pizza as much as Hugley did. Finally, there was only one box of pizza left, but they couldn't eat another bite. Let's take it back with us, said Hugley. The three monsters found their way back to the people house where they started, but the house was dark inside and the door was locked. How are we going to get inside and under the bed? asked Hugley. You can climb that tree, Hugley, crawl along the roof, slide down the chimney, and unlock the door, said Grubble. Better yet, 
said Hugley. We can build a catapult and shoot you through that open window, Grubble. Then you can let us in. Hush, said Booter. You two hide by the door and wait for me. Booter set the pizza box on the edge of the porch. Then she knocked on the door. Hugley gasped. What are you doing? Just be quiet, said Booter, and she hid too. A sleepy people father opened the door and scratched his chin. I don't remember ordering pizza, he mumbled. Better put it in the fridge. He stepped out onto the porch to get the box. Behind him, the three monsters tiptoed into the house unnoticed. They raced upstairs and under the people child's bed. Pizza's great, said Grubble, back at the secret slime pit. Yeah, Booter agreed. I'm ready for more. Too bad I had to leave it on the porch. What you left on the porch, said Hugley, was an empty box. The pieces of pizza fell out on the way home. He opened up his snack sack. Time, Time for pizza. pizza! The end.